It's Butterfly Poet. How y'all doing? Um, today's August. I'm sorry. Today's August. Today is October 2nd and um, protocol begins tomorrow. This will be IVF round two. Um, we are recruiting eggs. Recruiting follicles, I'm sorry. So that we can do embryo banking. And... Um, just to catch you up, I had, um, excuse me, I had my first fertility acupuncture session on Saturday. And it was very relaxing, so relaxing, so much so that when I feel tension in my body now, I instantly want to release it and let it go. If my shoulders are up, I feel myself pushing, releasing them back down. My body is more aware of tension so there's less clenching in my teeth. Um, there's less tension in my shoulders. And um, my body is able to relax itself once it feels itself tensing up again. So that's a great thing. Um, the next thing that I go in for is the fertility enhancing massage. So that'll be in about a week or so. Um, I have until the end of October to make that appointment. They have suggested that I come in twice a week during stems and 24 hours before transfer and, or is it retrieval? Oh, I have the document with me. It's either retrieval or transfer. <clears throat> but either way, um, it's not in my budget to go twice a week. So I will have to gauge that as I go. Um, when transferring treatment, yes, 24 hours prior, 24 hours after. So nothing necessarily connected with retrieval. Um, so yes, I'm clear on that. And FedEx just came. I got the box for um, what I wanted to do was refills before STEM started. Last round, I ran out of meds and I missed a couple of marks on a few meds and they were able to give me samples at Vios, but I wanted to make sure that I had what I needed beforehand. So I already ordered my refills. This will be in addition to the original meds that I have already. So. I now officially have plenty of stems if I have to go 20 days like last time. It is said by Dr. Jelani that I might not have to uh, go the whole 20 days because I already have nine follicles and um, since they're already there, the chances, or it's, so it's seeming like since they're already there and there's so many of them, that it won't take as long for my body to respond for these follicles to grow. So the goal is one to two millimeters per day. Um, try to make sure I don't knock over the camera. It's not very steady. Um, I uh, am willing to go the 20 days if necessary, if that's what my body needs. Um, we can go less that would be great too I just wanted to make sure that I didn't run out of meds and should there be some extras left over then I can either save them in case I do decide to go another round there's construction going on upstairs um, I'm so anxious for a transfer I don't know if I want to do another round of um, IVF for embryo banking because with these nine that I have, it sounds pretty promising, yeah? So um, I should be able to have plenty to um, choose from. Options is what I want. Options is what I want. So everything else is going along. 
fine. I'm still baking daily, shipping out orders daily for Butters Fly Cookies. You can catch it on Facebook, Instagram, got pictures and whatnot. So, anytime you want to reach out to place an order for cookies, I welcome it. So, the first thing I pulled out was a few needles. These are some syringes. This is a follow stem pen and a cartridge. No, this is the pen and the holder. I wonder if it's green. Yep, it's green. They haven't switched colors yet. <laughs> That would be the construction. Um, Ganarelix. Last time I had Cetratide. This is Ganarelix. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 14 days worth. I've got four follow stem cartridges. And they put everything on ice, but it doesn't have to be. I've got plenty of alcohol swabs. Always great to have those. And I've got Minipure. And that's just more, another dose of Minipure in there. So, yep, and more ice at the bottom. So only the follow stem needs to be, the follow stem and the Ganarelix needs to be refrigerated. There's a little refrigerator down here in the basement, so I could put that in there. And I will be toting this home so that I can get organized for tomorrow. I do start tomorrow. It was supposed to today, but she pushed it over one day. She never really said why. I guess it doesn't make much of a fuss on my end. So she said October 3rd. We're gonna roll with October 3rd. And I'll probably... Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'll probably have the first tracking on um, Friday or Monday. I'm not sure. I'll have to check my, double check my um, protocol, which I do have right here. I knew the camera wasn't stable. Sorry, my bad. I have to move the box. Where is it? Okay, here's the protocol. Uh, 10 3 and that's tomorrow I'm gonna start off with dexamethasone doxycycline and uh, 125 mcgs of Ganarelix and 750 units of follow stem that's for t Wednesday Thursday and Friday that's a little different. That's higher than what usual I started off with. I usually was at 750 once and then dropped down to 225. So already right there, that's three cartridges. Glad I ordered extra. We're going to make sure we have enough for this. So, um, honest moment. I am not having the best of, um, balance here lately the acupuncture was excellent it was great I wished I would I wish I could afford it twice a week but it's not in the budget but um I'm really having a hard time I'm really having a hard time I don't want to quit but I always ask I'm, I find myself asking what the hell am I doing This is, this is a, a journey. This is a journey. Every day. Every day, every week, in and out. It's heavy. It is so heavy. And I'm experiencing like these thoughts of wanting to just cut my hair off. 
you know, um, and I can't make that type of decision feeling like this. I would regret that. So I'm going to cut this short because that construction is starting to kick in. And, um, yeah. So thank you. Gratitude, love, peace. Hug somebody today. Call and check on a friend. Um, call and check on a relative. Um, avoid as much toxicity as you can. Um, be genuine. Be kind to yourself and to others. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace and gratitude.